Hey everyone, today I have something very interesting for you all. So, a couple days ago I was waiting in a room, waiting for players, and uh, I was complaining how I'm tank general every single time and I'm always laser general, why am I always laser and tank? Anyway, and um, there was this pro player who said, well, it's because you always play as the red color. And I said, yeah, but that has nothing to do with getting your army. And he said, well, yeah, it kind of does. And I said, why? He said, I don't know. It's just how it is. If you select a color, then you are more likely to get certain armies. He said, if you get red, you're more likely to get a China. So, um, okay, I thought it was very interesting. So I made a little program that you're seeing right now in the background. And uh, what it does is it starts the game, it then starts a multiplayer match, and then it selects um, just the color. See, I'm going through gold now, so it's going through the colors. And it's uh, recording, seeing what army I'm getting. So I'm literally doing the same thing over and over and over, and I'm putting a hard army just to kind of make it slightly more realistic, I guess. Um, and I'm seeing, does color in fact result in the same armies, you know? Okay, so it went 200 times through every single color to see if we're gonna get the same army more often than others. So, um, I've done this 200 times per color and then I've done this test another uh, a total of 5 times. So, what I've done now is I have all the results, I've put them in a nice spreadsheet and uh, let's have a look at the spreadsheet, let's see what the results are. Okay, so here's the spreadsheet. You can see that I've done something here, which is uh, a nice legend. So we have the yellow uh, means you're most likely to get it. So for example here, gold, you know, this yellow one is for China. So in this case, you are most likely to get China. 14% uh, of the time you actually got China. Uh, then you have the runner-up, which is here GLA Demolition. And then the least likely to get is Toxin. So in this uh, run, Toxin came out the least for gold. Um, anyway, I went 200 times per color. So these are pretty accurate percentages. All right, so um, these are all the uh, times I did the test. So I literally did the same test five times, right? So you would imagine that since China has scored 14% or, you know, here, here you get China 10% and whatever, you would expect them to be the same throughout if indeed color affects army. So... Uh, like, let's look for example at orange, I think this is a good one. You see uh, Toxin has 11% chance, it's um, the highest, right? So if we go to just the next iteration, we can say, Oh no, it's the lowest! Ah, what happened? No! Okay, so probably, you know, that's, that's quite, uh, you know, interesting data, I would say. So then if we look at the one below here, Demo, we see that Demo scores the highest, right, in this uh, iteration. And we say, okay, let's look at the next one. And, oh no, demo is the lowest. Ah. I just kind of had a look through them. And you could try and say, well, you're maybe more likely to get something like a China here or a GLA there. But essentially what it comes down to, to me, is this is just random, you know. If I uh, flip a coin, if it's heads or tails, I could get heads 10 times in a row. There's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't mean my coin is, is uh, manipulated or whatever. Random is just that way. So that's why, like, uh, for example, in this one, you get 14%. That's quite high, you know? So yeah, I think this pretty much concludes it. Um, I'll put a link to this Excel sheet in the description so you can have a look yourself and maybe play around with some numbers. Um, I'll also put a link to the code that I used so you can try run it yourself. Although I'll be honest, I hard coded it. So you'd probably have to dick around with some pixels here and there that are trying to be read. And I would say this myth has been put to rest, you know? Anyway, that's all guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. See ya.